2023 fashion trends. I'm gonna be sharing the most anticipated fashion trends for 2023. Some of them are wearable, some of them I don't think are. I'm gonna be sharing some tips about how you can incorporate them into your wardrobe and to help you discern what is really going to work for you trying to incorporate these fashion trends into your closet for 2023. So the very first fashion trend for 2023 is what I am calling utility dressing. Cargo pants have been making the rounds. We're gonna be seeing utility pockets showing up on all different kinds of garments, whether it's skirts, jackets, pants, coats, even handbags. And my take on this trend is that do it very strategically. You don't have to go full force into the cargo pant realm, which I don't really encourage you to do unless you just love cargo pants or you already have some in your closet. Along those same lines, leather jackets and motocross I would put into the utility dressing category because these are outerwear pieces that are designed for specific purpose. Motocross is definitely a late 90s, early 2000s thing, but I think it actually harkens back to the 60s as well, thinking about Steve McQueen and Francois Hardy. Camille Charrier was really into the Victoria Beckham late 90s, early 2000s motocross jacket, and if you live through that time period, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. The next 2023 fashion trend is 90s minimalism and just the 90s in general. So the 90s minimalism has been building for years now. This is not really a new trend, but I would say that it's definitely peaking this year because brands are catching on to what we're hunting down at the thrift store and what all the cool it girls are wearing on Instagram. So I would say for the 90s minimalist trend, you're going to want to focus on some of those classic pieces that say Kate Moss or Carolyn Bissette Kennedy would be wearing. I really love that crisp white button-up shirt look. The great news is, is that is really trending right now. So you can look at the classic crisp white button-up, you can look at it in different colors like black and brown or even pink and blue even a striped would be nice. And with the minimalist 90s aesthetic, we are going to see more loose fitting, flowy, silky, streamlined garments. So I'm really thinking about those classic silhouettes that you would see happening in the 90s where you would have oversized sweaters, oversized skirts, long hem skirts, sleek boots with no details, sleek handbags with very few details. If you live through the 90s, then you know that denim on denim was a huge Thing. Every generation has their own take on denim on denim or the Canadian tuxedo. What I really want to encourage you in is that this is an outfit combination that works for everybody and I think it is so chic and so stunning. I want to give a minor nod to the 90s grunge which is not at all similar to 90s minimalism, but they did have some minor overlap. The 90s are so nostalgic for me, and so I totally understand why we would want to go back and look at the grunge era. Of course, many style icons were made in the 90s. I love Johnny Depp's kind of minimalist grunge aesthetic. So think about that as you're trying to get dressed too. If grunge suits your style and your taste, then try leaning into that with some cool platform boots or some flannel into your wardrobe. Maybe you could bring in that cargo pant trend. I love it but it's not for everybody. So take that and make it work for you. The next fashion trend for 2023 is what I am dubbing ultra femme dressing. There are so many unique little details that I stumbled upon while researching this video from ballet core to bubble hems to sheer garments. So what I want to say is let's put all of those ultra femme things into one category. I noticed that polka dots, lace details, English embroidery, sheer layers, corset tops, crochet, ballet core, meaning ballet garments and accessories, bubble hems, and boudoir items like lingerie for daytime have all made a resurgence and are huge trends for 2023. You can easily incorporate some of these more risque pieces into your life, whether it's through a simple lace detail, maybe having even more lace panels on a dress or on a you know, a sheer cami like this. Maybe it's adding in crochet jewelry or crochet bags, or maybe it's just adding in a romantic Victorian era style blouse. I'm a sucker for those. I feel like I can never have too many. And I think Cezanne does that really well. Doen does that really well. And I want to say that like the boudoir style is something that might seem really intimidating to a lot of us, but think about Jane Birkin, who definitely played on the sexiness of um, 
bringing in those cotton boudoir pieces into her everyday wear by pairing them with jeans or with trousers. Again, with some of these other trends like embroidery, that's easy to incorporate. Polka dots are beautiful. I think you can wear them in a dress, in a blouse, in a skirt. So easy to bring into your life. But maybe certain things like corset tops seem really out there or even sheer layers seem really out there. But one of the best ways that you can put that into your own wardrobe is by wearing a corset style top that's like a tank top underneath a blazer or even wearing a sheer layer with a corset top over the sheer layer or just putting sheer layers over solid pieces. The next fashion trend category for 2023 is what I'm calling preppy or old money vibes. Again, this has been building for many years now so it's not really like an ultra trend but I feel like it's now that I'm seeing boucle and tweed jackets everywhere. Am I right? Am I wrong? Do you feel the same way? I feel like everyone is trying to sport a boucle or a tweed jacket, which I'm very happy about. I think it's neat and cool. I love this look, but one thing I want to say is I have noticed a lot of companies launching, even J. Crew launched a tweed check houndstooth boucle matching set. So very 90s and especially the colors that they're launching them in are very 90s. So like bubblegum pink, neon pink, very bright green, very bright yellow. Be careful with this because again, it does look a little bit dated and it looks like a trend. It looks like, okay, here's this thing that's everywhere and I want to jump on the bandwagon and get something for myself. I think there's a way to incorporate it without it looking like just so matchy matchy and such a trend. Pick a color way that works best for you or maybe even just tone down the print or maybe just focus on having one piece in your wardrobe rather than both. But I really appreciate that many of those pieces are very wearable. And the cool thing is, is that I bet you already have a lot of those in your closet right now. So I would say go for the sweaters that have the more collegiate vibe. Maybe you've got some sweatshirts that have like a very, you know, affluent style font on them, like the sporty and rich vibes. I think it, there's great ways to put this into your style and inject your style with the quote unquote old money vibes um, or rich auntie vibes, however you want to say it, but make sure that it just works for your personal style. Just some honorable mentions in the old money vibes trend category would be stirrup leggings, which we saw on Julia Roberts in Ticket to Paradise, and I think she pulled that 90s minimalism look off so well. Our next fashion trend for 2023 is what I'm calling, because I am this person, is magpie dressing. And if you're not familiar, magpies are obsessed with bright, shiny objects. So when I see magpie dressing, what I mean is like, ooh, bright, shiny object. Here's what I've noticed. And these things have shown up on so many different lists, but you're gonna have things like metallic fabric or metallic colors like lame or straight up coated leather or coated cotton. You'll also have sequins, rhinestone, embellishments, embroidery. You'll have rosettes, abstract flowers. You're going to have things like feathers, tassels, and fringe. Different little details. Wearing these things in the daytime, wearing them to work, wearing them on a date with your boyfriend or husband. These things are not just reserved any longer for event dressing or just evening attire. Maybe a little bit hard to wear, but still really cool. And I have noticed that with denim, it seems as though there is no shortage right now of embellished denim, whether it's being printed on, whether it has rhinestones or sequins, fringe even, or feathers or cut out details. It's kind of fascinating to me that denim is like the blank literal canvas that we can use to embellish and create more trend and more interest in our outfits. But again, I'm gonna warn you just to be careful with how you add some of these things into your wardrobe if you do it all. When you're looking at making really big investments in your closet, I'm always going to encourage you to try to make those investments in the most classic pieces so that they're going to last you the most amount of time and you'll be able to pair them with the maximum number of items in your wardrobe. And so the next fashion trend for 2023 is really a set of colors that I think are going to be huge for this year. And these are things that I've seen already building definitely through Valentino's collection but also through just different streetwear aesthetic and different collections on high street fast fashion brands. I think that green is a 
color that has many different iterations that are all popular right now from that bright neon green to kelly green, forest green, and even apple green. Green for some reason is this color that's very popular right now. I think it's great because you can find greens that work for your unique skin tone and your closet. Pink, that bright Valentino pink that's just like a punch of love in your face is definitely still everywhere. We see it from J. Crew to Old Navy to even higher end brands. But again, I want to caution you to be so careful when you're adding different colors into your wardrobe because color is one of those things that signifies a lot about us when we get dressed. And it can be one of those things that when you're trying to get dressed in the morning, you say, pull out one piece and you're like, but what do I put with it? How do I style it? How does it work with the other items in my closet? But I also really love that the color brown is still going strong a few seasons later. So that's a great trending color for this year. And of course, we saw that cerulean blue, that bright, intense blue color that's almost like a true gemmy blue is very big this year. With trends, you need to be super aware of how you are influenced by others on the internet to either get rid of things or get things. Because there have been so many items in my closet I've gotten rid of that I totally regret getting rid of because they weren't trendy or cool. Maybe give yourself some grace to hold on to some things for a while and see how they do. So if you're interested in how I'm going to be wearing these trends for 2023, you can watch that video right here. Please leave me a comment below letting me know what fashion trends you're most excited about and which ones you cannot stand. It's a free space, so go ahead and comment in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video.